Right, I'm just sanding these off and somebody asked me why I left them 100 mil. Is it because of snipe? And sometimes about 70% that comes through that machine is all right. Occasionally you get a bit of snipe. It depends if I, you know, if, if the board's leaning as it goes in or coming out. But I try and hold it up or I need to get another table, an in-feed table that fits better. But mainly because, see there's a little bit of snipe on there. I don't know if it shows, you can just see the line there. And that is, I left them 100 mil long. And that snipe is 40, 45 mil, something like that. So it gives me a chance to cut 50 mil off either end. But also, most of these boards are where I trimmed and we see this is the original end. And it's quite good. There's no marks. But you see this one. See, just a crack there. But if you turn it over, that crack comes quite a long way down, so it gives me a chance to cut that off if I want. Because sometimes you just you just don't see it, or you you know before you plane it, you just you don't see it basically. So when you plane it, it shows up. See that probably didn't show before it got planed. You see it on the end, but you can't start cutting cutting hundred mil off every board. You've got to sort of wing it a little bit and hope. You see this one here, that's the original end, and there's a tiny little crack in it, but if I pull it out it comes down here, you see, so I can cut that off now. I think the majority of them are okay, but yeah, don't really get any snipe, not that much. But leaving them longer just gives me that gives me that chance. That's one sanded. Get that one sanded. Well, that was 120 paper and that's what I like about this machine it hardly needs any sanding at all you see this saw you can take just a fraction off and you don't leave a step a good sharp blade that is I picked a good end Square that end up. Now I should be able to cut that off, cut that waste off. So I want 814, so be accurate with your measurements. Nice sharp pencil. I'll set a stop up for these ones. I've just set the stop up, and as always, I'll take it out. And I'll put it up against my stop as if I'm doing my second and my third because sometimes you find that your first one is just I don't know half a millimeter a millimeter out because when you put your second one in you're not so careful so uh, I'm just half a millimeter out I drew a pencil line on the end of my stop to see how, how far I'm going to move it and then same again, take it out, put it in. Spawn. You see this next one? That's all I've got, give myself a decent amount of allowance, 3mm I worked out, 
so it's going to get painted so what I'll do now is I'll put two of these together and I'll measure this minus three six nine mil and divide that in half So that one should be square there because I only squared off this fence, I don't square off both sides. So in theory really that should be the you know that should be square as well but you don't know what you know that off cut's gonna be so square it up again. So that's one laid out. What I did was I put two of these timbers together like I did the frame and then I measured across. I'll show you, take this one out. What I did was measure this width and I want 3mm, 6mm, 9mm and that's 985, 985 minus 9 gives me 976 divide that by 2 gives me 488 that's my tape measure so 488 on there lands about there which means I've got to cut my timbers they are 328 I can't show you it's wobbling around with one hand it's 328 so I cut these rails at 328 so these are three mil packers I've got in here. It's not tight, but I don't mind because, like I say, it's going to get painted. But that's one. That's one laid out. I'll do the little one in the same way. And I can start cutting dominoes. When I first drew this, I was going to make this bottom rail. You know, they're 80 mil at the moment, because then I can get two dominoes in nicely. But I was going to make it slightly wider. Bottom rails on doors are quite often a bit deeper. But when I did it on that one, you know, to match, when I did it on that one, it just looked, I don't know, it just looked wrong. So I've gone 80mm all around. And here's one thing that I've been doing recently. I'm cutting the rails at the moment. I've still got two to cut. But after I've made my calculations, I just cut two. And then I can check my measurements. And if it's right, then fine, I'll cut the other two. But if I've got that wrong for some reason, maybe maybe I got 5mm wrong, maybe I could. Put that there, so I've got one door that's the same size rails, and then I could make this one bigger, you know, when I cut these other two. So your doors will be slightly out of centre, but at least you sort of, you know, get by. And if it's only five mil, nobody will ever know. But they look good to me. Three mil, three mil, three mil. There's a bit less than 3mm in the height as well. So I'll cut the other two. So now they're okay. What I'll do is just like I did on the frame. Mount me inside face, inside edge. And I can start cutting the dominoes on them then. I'll do the same to the ones underneath. Get them out of the way. So I'm just using the first pin here, running that off the edge of the timber and then I'm locating that one in the hole that I've just made.
So they're all cut now. I've said it before, but I make these 80 mil. That way I can comfortably get two dominoes in and get about a 10 mil half inch hole groove to get my panel in and it's not too close to this domino. If it's too close, when you put this domino in, it bursts out this side. That should be okay. Ignore that. Right, this little piece of scrap fits in there quite nicely. Just snug. I can almost I can almost pick that board up look. But you don't want it tight because this little piece might fit in. But once you come and put the big panel in, it'll be a pain in the neck if it's too tight. And especially if you're putting glue on it. I'll cut some panels now, put these together with temporary dominoes, I can measure it and then cut some panels. I made these grooves about half inch deep, 12mm, so all I have to do now is measure that and add 20mm, 22mm, something like that. So that's 270, so I'll make these panels about 293, something like that, the same that way, 305. So I'll make these 325.
But I do trust my sliding sled thing. It's a lot more accurate than it looks. So I could do that. Oops. See that's just a fraction short of 35. And if I go that way. See that's just a fraction short of 35. Not these ones. Just over 760 and just over 760 again. Absolutely spot on square. So just to dry fit again, just to make sure that it's it's good. That looks very good to me. I'll do one of the big ones. So I've just dry fitted them together. No dominoes in them yet. That's what I can do now. Get them glued together. I forgot to film it, but remember I turned this upside down. So earlier, before, before I used this, I didn't turn it upside down. So inside there, it was all dry. And inside there you get like a little plug, just put a screw or something in that end, pop it out and you get like a little, like a little mould of this, throwing it away, I can't find it, but you don't get a skin on the top of the glue then, to show you that another day. Can't find a screw fix pencil so these are little half pencils. see it but this board isn't straight and that's why you make the grooves just not too tight so it's quite difficult to get them in otherwise and I'm gluing the panels in just a very thin smear you don't glue panels in that are made of wood because you allow the panel to move. But this is MDF, it's not going to go anywhere. These little things are good for holding your clamps up.
Right, I've just measured corner to corner and I've got 948 or 950 here but 948 that way so what I've done is put my clamp at an angle like that as I tighten it up it'll pull that that way like that and it should change the yeah should push that in move that over which will make that distance shorter this glue says five minutes it's a bit too fast actually for me I'll tighten these up Yeah, that's better. So now I've got 9.49 there, just a fraction short. And then that way, it's a bit difficult to see, but I've got about 9.49 there too. So I'll just make sure it's sat down, sat down on the clamps properly. It's not sitting up, sometimes you might find a little gap. That's good. A fraction of a gap there, I think maybe when I cut that one it was out of square. So the other ones look quite good. That'll be okay. You see this, it's too fast is this stuff. I'll get some more glued up. So they're all glued up, sitting level. Flat, in twist, all that sort of thing. This glue smells a bit like Evo stick, a bit like contact adhesive, but five minutes. A bit too fast for me for this. The regular 30 minutes stuff's plenty fast enough. It's rare I have to do anything that fast in five minutes. Right, I'll leave them, let them dry properly. I've only just finished gluing that one up, but you can see. This one's already nearly dry. Yeah, 